Hi everyone, this is HJ. Some completely different. We got some Mario Kart Super Nintendo action going. I can't find my Super Nintendo, unfortunately, otherwise I would pull it out so you can see in all of its uh, original glory, but what we have is a virtual console version on the Wii instead. Uh, growing up, I played a lot of Super Mario Kart down at the local U Center while I was still a kid and while I was employed there as a young adult. This game is one of those games that was my childhood, and I still like playing it from time to time. So, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'll randomly come to this once in a while, when I wanna do something random and stupid and just talk for no reason, and not get shit done like I'm not doing now. I could be doing, uh, Ogre Battle, or Pokemon, or, you know, God forbid real life grad school stuff, or I wanna do a DJ set at some point, but that's, that's not what's on the cards tonight. Tonight, I wanted to play a little bit of cart and drink a little bit and, and drive around, but only in games, not in real life, that would be bad, drinking, driving, not a good thing. So I have played this a bit on the Wii, so you'll notice that I've already gotten uh, 150cc unlocked and I've already beaten a uh, 100cc class for all golds in first place, so this isn't really, uh, this is what happens when you unlock shit, because this game's been out for like 19 or so years. So this is more of a... I like playing Mario Kart, so let's play some goddamn Mario Kart. And I haven't played in a little while, so I'm going to warm up on some 100cc and blow through all the cups that way, and then blow through them all again on 150. If I ever decide to do this, we shall see what happens. So yeah, like I was saying, played this a bunch growing up as a kid. Had a lot of fun doing it. I like to, uh... I'd be one of those kids that would just sit there and play games, and other kids would watch me like, oh hey, you know, HJ, can I play with you? And I'd be like, nah. But, but HJ, uh, yeah, fuck you, Donkey Kong. Oh yeah, but HJ, you know, Mario Kart has two player, we could totally, like, uh, play together, and it's like, yeah, but if I let you take up the second player slot, you block my bottom screen, and I can't see where everyone's in on the map, and I can't see if, uh, you know, there are items coming in behind me, so, uh, that's why you can't play with me. You can watch and see how awesome I am, though. That's, that's what I tell him, and it wouldn't really work. Yeah, I'm not power sliding, because I don't want to lose any track position, because I don't know how to drive while drinking. That's good. You shouldn't be good at driving while you're drinking. God forbid I decide to play Forza after this. Oh, man. That would not be good. Okay, Red Shell, we are definitely hanging on to you. But yeah, I would chill out, play some card at the U Center, and have some good times. And, you know, I eventually uh, I got hired there as a... Oh, God damn it, Green Shell. I got hired there for a part-time job, and uh, I just taught all my disciples how to be good at cart. I am not doing well at all. Holy crap. Fuck you, Donkey Kong. Alright, second place, whatever. Taught all my disciples, hey, so I become good at Mario Kart, and hopefully I pass the uh, legacy on to somebody else. That's what I'm hoping for anyway. Uh, it's been long since the U Center has been open in my town, and they moved it or closed it or something. And I obviously don't work there anymore because that was like summer job for as long as I can remember. But uh, some good times I had there with some Super Mario Kart. Someone passed down the legacy to me. I tried to pass it down to somebody else, and we're talking about it now on the internet. Good times there. A couple of tips and tricks if you if you care. To get your optimal speed in Super Mario Kart and Super Nintendo, you need to have 10 coins. Yeah. That's really about it. Have coins. 10 is the max that'll make you go speed-wise. Uh, bumpers let you power slide, but I don't want to risk doing that right now. And I'll try and show you some cool shortcuts along the way if I can get, like, feathers or mushrooms to make those happen. I don't know. This is more just like a, a bullshit HJ wants to rant thing than anything. With live commentary, by the way, this isn't like done in post. This is like me fucking up in real time, so y'all can enjoy that if that's your your thing. And don't get me wrong, you know, Super Nintendo definitely up there in my favorite list of consoles. But uh oh, ball sack. But uh you know, in high school, I, I wouldn't always be down in the center playing with people. I would, uh... I had friends, believe it or not. It's hard to believe. Coming from a guy who likes to talk to people on the internet. But, uh... One of my buddies, uh... Before I got an N64, he had one. One of the games he got with it was, uh... Super Mario Kart 64. And he's like, oh, you know... HJ, you gotta get over here, you gotta play this. I know how much you love Kart on the Super Nintendo. And 
blah, 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 and I played card on the 64, you know, it just wasn't the same. You know, you, you had to use the joystick versus the D-pad, I believe, and like, yeah, big deal, the graphics were better, but at the same time, it just didn't have that same flow and feel as uh, this game does to, you son of a bitch, fucking Koopa Troopa, he ruins everything, that son of a bitch. That's why we're playing 100 TC. Because uh, if I was on 150, oh my god. So we have to stage like an epic comeback. But getting back to Kart 64, like it just didn't have that same feel to me. It seemed sluggish. It didn't seem as fast. So that's kind of why I've always liked Super Nintendo, at least uh, in my high school days. And uh, being the good student that I am, cough not really. Uh, Mushroom. I don't know what the fuck to do with that. I, I guess I'll save it for the straightaway at the end. Being the good student I am, I went to undergrad in college, and I had stumbled across the gaming club in college, and uh, it seemed like for the first two or three years there, every day I'd go there, someone would always be playing uh, Kurt Double Dash on the GameCube in the office. And uh, I didn't really care for GameCube, but I love Double Dash, because... Uh, well, you know, everyone was playing. I started to get good at it too. I never, I never had a GameCube, so I never really got to play Double Dash. But I definitely thought it was good times. And yeah, I bought my Wii the day it came out on November nineteenth, uh, two thousand six. But you know, I never really worried about the GameCube. So I was still rocking the sixty four up until then. And I graduated high school in two thousand six. So I mean, whatever that's worth to you. I never really had a GameCube, so. Double Dash was a new thing for me, and I ended up buying it on GameCube because I could play it on my Wii since it is backwards compatible. Alright, I'm watching Koopa Trooper. I'm gonna not let him screw me this time. And just, I'd, I'd have a gap of three hours in between classes, so we would just Double Dash all day, every day. And I started to get a little good at that. Eh, yeah, fuck you, Koopa Trooper. You take a seat in a second. Using Luigi as my blocker. And I played that for a bit, and good times. I loved coming up with the uh, the most annoying combo of all time in Double Dash, the uh, uh, not Peach but Daisy, the the anti princess, and uh, Baby Luigi or Luigi. Because anytime you'd pull Baby Luigi out, he would say, "Uh oh, it's Baby Luigi time." And anytime Daisy would come out, she'd say, "Hi, I'm Daisy." So to piss everyone off around me, I would constantly rotate in between the two and make them say their phrases because I thought it was funny. But you know, whatever. Hi, I'm Daisy. Uh oh, Baby Luigi time. I oh, spin out. My bad. Yeah, can't hold the right from the beginning. Gotta start hitting it at two. Hi, I'm Daisy. Uh oh, Baby Luigi time. And so on, and people would get really upset with me. I. That's why we don't power slide. So that happened for a while, and you know I still go there once in a while, but I'm not an underground anymore. And after uh, a while, the novelty of playing GameCube wore off, so we stopped playing Double Dash. But uh, I still like to go back to it once in a while. Yeah, fuck you, Koopa Troopa. Take a seat. And then at some point in the last few years, Mario Kart Wii came out. And uh, I do have that too, I did buy that. But I never really got into it, it seemed too easy to me. It's like, oh, but HG, you can play online and hone your skills. It's like, yeah, great, I don't care. If there was a Super Nintendo Super Mario Kart on there, I would totally play online and kick everyone's ass. Or think I could kick everyone's ass in all actuality, I'm rusty as hell right now. But, uh, oh, itchy, you can play Kart Online on the Wii. You know, big freaking deal, I don't care. Wii wasn't my game growing up. The Kart was my game growing up on the Ninten Super Nintendo. So, I miss the arrow. So, because of that, I don't know. And, like, the Wii version introduced motorcycles, too. And that's, I, I, just, I know they're trying to be innovative and shit. Oh, Mario Kart isn't just karts anymore, but, you know, whatever. I don't really... And the fact that you could, like, control your cart with just the Wiimote and nothing else, you know, didn't really seem like you'd have that same level of precision that I'm aiming for with that D-pad control. Like, granted, there is a D-pad on the Wiimote, but it's like, okay, you get two buttons. 
granted that's all you really use in the, uh, fuck you, Luigi. It's all you really use in the, uh, I use the classic controller when I play because it's the most like a Super Nintendo controller, but nothing's ever going to replace that feel of original Super Nintendo Mario Kart for me. I just, nothing's going to replace that, so. So as it stands right now, we are tied with Mr. Koopa Troopa at 30 points. We need to beat him in this final round. We don't necessarily have to take first. We have to beat him in this round. So, it's crunch time. We'll try and keep the silly rants to a mini minim blah, minimum, minium, a minimum, and maybe kick his ass in the finals here with the advanced first track level action. So yeah, there's my little take on Mario Kart, the way it was when I was a kid, and the way I see it now. I mean, if they had a, an online version of the Super Nintendo, I could definitely see playing that, but I could also, you know, definitely see running into everybody playing Koopa Troopa online, because I guess he is the fastest character. But the way I've seen it, it also makes him the cheapest character, right? I did play Mario Kart DS. Oh, you son of a bitch. I don't think so, Koopa Troopa. Oh, you son of a bitch. There we go. Good for now. This is going to be an epic battle. I'm probably going to lose it because I need to talk, but... It was the same thing in Mario Kart DS when I played that back when it first came out. Like, uh, Dry Bones. He was the dirtiest freaking character in the, in the game because he was the fastest. Oop, banana peels. Alright, we're good. And I refuse to play him on principle because everyone will pick him because he's the fastest. So I've, I've always picked Yoshi ever since Original Kart, leading into DS, leading into whatever else game we've played, I've always, I've always picked Yoshi because of that reason. Oh, look at Koopa Trooper, he can jump like a pro. Well, suck banana. Yeah, he got hit. Oh no, so did I. Ballsack. And Peach took first, that doesn't even make sense. Women can't drive carts, especially not Mario carts. Oh, whatever, as long as I beat Koopa, I don't care. There we go. So we didn't get first, but we still won. And you hear the life sound, which means if there was another race, I'd have another try on it, but it doesn't matter. So, assuming the princess didn't randomly get 30 points on that, I think we got it. It wasn't a pretty victory, but it was a victory indeed. We have beaten the Koopa Troopa, 36-33. to 33. And that is that. So, uh, that's Mario Kart round one, I guess. 100cc Mushroom Cup. You might see more of this in the future whenever I'm feeling random and wanting to do nothing. Uh, that's pretty much it. If you guys enjoyed this, let me know. There may be more cart in the future. We'll see what happens. But other than that, I want to thank you guys for watching. And we'll see you next time on Super Mario Kart Funtime Action with HJ.